This is not Liquid Huck. This is OGS MC. MC, of course, if you don't know, how do you not know? GSL Season 3 Champion. Arguably the best pro toss in the world. Definitely debatable. I can't just be like, oh, he's the best pro toss ever. Like, that's insane. There are other candidates, but, you know, he won GSL Season 3. He's a beast. He's scary as hell. Feel, feel a little sorry for his opponent. This is Mao's Nama with an N. Um, lots of confusion often with Mao's Nama and Mao's Mana. <laughs> But yeah, this is going to be Nama, and he is an excellent tournament player. This is a tournament match, as you can see by the, well, there's a green Terran player, so it's definitely not ladder. This is a tournament, a European tournament, uh, that lots of the top tier um, StarCraft 2 players were competing in from all parts of the world. So yeah, should be a good match on Scrap Station. I'm looking forward to it. Nama here putting his uh, first barracks. Uh, not going to bother walling off. I mean, he's going up against Protoss, and the ramps on Scrap Station are just gigantic. So, going to put his first racks up just out, uh, outside of his command center there. First Supply Depot, uh, right on that Vespian gas line. And uh, the refinery on the way as well. Pretty early scout here for MC. He definitely wants to know exactly what Nama is doing. MC, um, of course, he's a member of OGS. Um, MC are his Korean initials, Mean Chol. Anyway... Um, yeah, keep an eye on the production tab, see what kind of builds these players are going for. Much later, scout here for the SCV as he scoots by the Zell Naga along with the Automaton. He's going to see the uh, standard gateway, standard cybernetics for really nothing unusual going on. Um, income tab showing one harvester advantage for MC because he probably chrono boosted uh, just once. Is he going to chrono boost again? Is he going to use more energy to boost out? his probes, or is he going to wait for the cybernetic score, maybe start boosting warp gate research? We'll just have to wait and see. Nama's SCV sees everything. The probe for MC was forced out by the initial marine. It was unable to spot the factory. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, MC doesn't really know whether or not Nama got this second refinery yet either, which is really the best indicator at this early stage of the game. You know, seeing if a Terran player is on one or two gas really helps you determine what build they're going for. More Marines on the way. This refinery is almost done. No add-on just yet. Second gas on the way. Zelnaga Tower going to MC. Back at MC's base. Not using Chrono Boost at all on probes. Chrono Boosting out sentries. Chrono Boosting Warp Gate research. Uh, six workers, mining gas, of course, pretty standard. And it looks like we are going to see a four gate. Minchul has the scariest four gate I've ever seen. Jinro gets dropped from the game. But yeah, I swear, why? That was a mistake. Anyway, I swear, Minchul used his four gate tactic in GSL Season 3 to just destroy, crush his opponents in a very devastating fashion, especially Terran opponents, especially Jinro. Kind of ironic, Jinro left as soon as he saw the 4-gate. Jinro's like, I hate that build. MC crushed me with it in GSL 3, but that's fine. We're going to have to wait and see if Mao's Nama has what it takes to hold it off. Back down here, a little action. This Hellion escapes with 38 hit points. And it looks like we're going to see some pressure here. Proxy Pylon. And Warp Gates now finishing. And look at this excellent timing. These Warp Gates are done warping. Pylon is done warping. Three Stalkers. Two Sentries. A Zealot. And, um... Yeah, we got Cloak Banshees on the way, though. So, you know what? This is an excellent response. Obviously, no Robotics facility for or forge so no detection so cloak banshees are gonna do a shit ton of damage if nama is able to hold this off putting down three bunkers yeah this is what you do against a four gating mc put down seven bunkers man like he has a scary four gate and it is not looking to be any different in today's matchup as he is now pushing up the ramp now those force fields are to prevent SCVs from repairing the bunkers. The middle bunker goes down. 
the Zealot slice those Marines, no problem. The right hand bunker gets taken out with, you know, pretty, pretty easy for that bunker to get taken out. And now, the Protoss is in Nama's base. MC here looking to uh, secure an early victory. He should be microing these units back a little bit, trying to kite the SCVs and prevent the Marines from getting shots off. Trying to abuse the range of the Stalkers. Of course, they have better range than Marines. Um, now, is MC going to continue to warp in units? No. No. He's a genius. MC is going to have detection. But not before I miss a whole bunch of mineral line guys. Wait, how much was it? Five kills. Okay, I didn't miss that one. Five kills on the Banshee. Now, this cloak Banshee is going to clean up the rest of these units. These probes now going to God knows where. See what he's waiting for. He has an observer on the way. This is a very interesting stage of the match. I mean, neither player really can mine a whole lot. Seven workers for seven SCVs, and then four workers for the Protoss player, but he can't mine. Oh man, this is actually a really crazy match. I'm really, I have no idea who's going to win at this point. Banshee, Banshee, eight kills, two kills. Finally can get back to mining. Who's ahead? 23 and 24 supply. Many more workers though for our Protoss player MC, but Nama has mules. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. I have no idea who's going to win this match. More harassment, but now that the observer's overhead, these Banshees, I mean, Banshee threat really is uh, pretty much nullified. And uh, slowly, these players are, are, you know, licking their wounds, trying to get back in it. Well, you know, neither player really out of it, to be fair. Salvaging a bunker, putting down another bunker here. Siege mode on the way. Siege tank has arrived. More Banshees coming out. Another Observer on the way. Very nice. Especially on a map like this. Just crazy architecture in this map. Just going to want to spread these two Observers out. Um, definitely going to use this one to spot. Um, yeah, Pylon got taken out. But this Observer here, going to see exactly what's going on. He's going to see Siege Tanks. going to see the Bunkers on the low ground. He's going to see that Nama is still on one base. You can see him producing Marines. Uh, nothing else is coming out of the starport. Siege mode near completion. Back on the army tab. We see MC has pulled ahead by a four supply. Finally chrono boosting out some workers. He was probably doing that before though. I mean, no real reason to be chrono boosting out warp gates or, or attacking units really when you're this far on the defensive and both players are so damaged. But now, yeah, that was a bit of a foolish decision by Nama. I mean... Come on, he knew that there were observers in in uh, MC's base. So unless MC's positioning was just way off, even three Banshees isn't going to do a lot against that many Stalkers. Now getting some Immortal tech, and the Immortal was inspired by the Siege Tank, for sure. Flipping it back, we actually have a Raven on the way. Ravens are the best. I love seeing Ravens. You can be very creative. One of those underused units, in my opinion. Now, Banshee's heading over to the natural. You're going to see both players um, on one base. Well, now, soon enough, uh, Nama here is going to be mining off of uh, his natural as well. Banshee just going to keep an eye on the natural, going to know exactly when MC wants to move out. Oh, God, run for your life, probe. I don't think you stand much of a chance versus that Banshee. Does the Banshee know about him? No, bro. Poor probe. Oh well, up to four kills on that Banshee. This Banshee has no kills. Psh, recruit. Fool. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. It looks like Minchul, Jang Minchul, aka OGSMC, is going to be putting on some more pressure. He's got four Stalkers leading the way, another three behind him, two more sentries, and two Immortals. Immortals are great against Sieged Up Siege Tanks. It takes ten Siege Blasts just to get through Immortals Hardened Shields. Crazy, crazy stuff. That Marine gets taken out no problem. Is he going to go for the back door? Yeah, take out the rocks. Come on. You know that's the right decision. Okay, so 
MC's gonna take out the rocks. He's gonna assault the natural. Orbital command. Maybe would like... Oh no, he can't do planetary. He doesn't have an eBay. But anyway. Uh, yeah, this back door is gonna get taken down. No problem. You know, pretty uh, pretty decent DPS there. First seed blast goes down. Hits the stalkers quite nicely. Guardian shield. Not going to do a ton against the siege tank work. It's better against the infantry. But with two siege tanks here, getting some nice volleys off. But they get focused down in a hurry. And very nice force fields. GG. MC takes it. And that was an interesting game. I mean, MC, everyone knows he's got a beast four gate. Timed it perfectly. Force fielded those bunkers perfectly. Nullified the SCVs. Took out the bunkers. Waltzed into the enemy base. And then realized, oh shit, we got cloaked banshees in my own base. Managed to boost out an observer. 